day two of uh, Overtrop we did. And this day was dedicated to Lenny. So the first thing we did was go into the swing out, swing out from the close. And it started with drill, um, which looked like this, to kind of get our motion going, to get us being continuous. And really not looks like we spent some time doing our blues. And we made the leaders make sure to provide this direction change very clearly. So the call is more on autopilot. Then we went into another drill that looked more like swing off and close. That's you want that. The back to you guys. Nice, you guys. Looks like that. Really important that the leaders change direction for the followers on five, six, seven, eight. Keep their motion moving. Then we went ahead into the swing off and close. Very similar to the drill we just did. Five, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Very important that the calls keep going and finish the momentum with this sound effect. Wow. That we practice throughout the day often. All right. Very important for the leaders to keep going on their triple steps. Three and four. One, two. Keep on moving. Five, six, from here out. All right. Then we went into the swing out, which of course looks like this. Pretty much keep going, keep it continuous. That was the theme of the day. Then, class two, we went into uh, six count and eight count steps and did some transitions, starting with the Liddy circle. Basically, a swing out in which we don't let go. Finish with the triple steps going backwards, right? Then we go to the tuck turn, just like this. Two, three, and four, five, and six. Really wanted the leaders to get moving there, keep going. And the follows to meter your rotation and your linear energy. So it doesn't look like we finished the tuck turn, now we switched, and now we're doing the swing. -in. It's all one piece, right? Then we did a pass, second six count move. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Try to get both sides to calm their arms down. Right? Get so hyped up about turning. You have 12 feet to turn halfway. It takes very little rotation, rotation energy. So then we did the sugar push for our third six count. Look like this. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Spent a lot of time making that feel good. Then here we go. Pop turn. Five. Something like this. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Right. Very important to create a stretch in these muscles. Not right here. Boom. For the leader's safety, right? We want to keep our elbow pointed down, and we want to keep the hand on this edge of our follows back, which we said about a zillion times in the workshop. Right. If you lift the elbow and wrap around the side, it's going to hurt your shoulder instead of stretching your. Right. And for follows, we want to be sure that we leave this arm nice and relaxed here and let this connection be useful instead of killing it, right? In which case, we're going to get a roll off instead of a nice pocket. So, one more time. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Then we finish with a little bit of homework. The leader's up to it. Like this. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And the real challenge there was getting the momentum going. They just keep working on that. It's just a matter of moving forward and keeping your hand on the back. One, two, three, and four. Five, and six. And for follows during these six count moves, the way that we're feeling for when to triple step at the end, how we know it's a six count move, is because we're feeling for that narrow, right? That stretch out at the end, that sort of coming to a halt. That's going to be our triple step, right? So instead of keeping stepping, stepping through, which would be sort of a coasting step. We're going to stretch away with that triple step. Finish the move that we pick up. All right, cool. The class number three, we started with swivels. So on swivels, we don't want to mess up our swing out, right? We don't want to suddenly start doing a crazy thing, leading ourselves in. Nor do we want to plant and refuse to go anywhere. We want to do it from the hips. We're going to prep to the left on seven and eight. Go to the random one. Left on two. 